guys, what's up? This is CHA. We're bringing you integrated pest management. This is release application instructions for Aureus Insidious Insidiosus. Uh, from the Beneficial Insectary, they have really nice instructions that come with the video. So this says, release Aureus at sundown at the dam receipt. Release, gently rotate the bottle to distribute the predators evenly. That's basically it. Here it is, it comes in this nice uh, climate controlled box. I'm gonna get out this bottle here. Wow, 500 of them in this little teeny bottle. So here they are inside here, we're gonna look around. Oh boy, they're really crawling around in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Uh, it doesn't, there we go. Little crazy little, crazy little bugs in there, all right. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the top to distribute and I guess you literally just uh, rotate and uh, you know, either tap them on the leaf or if you stick the leaf in there and gently shake them out, looks like they'll just come out on the leaf surface. We'll get back at you in a little bit with more. So proper scouting, you should be able to clearly see where thrip damage is. That is thrip damage. And now the bottle of Aureus are emerging. All you have to do is shake a little bit. Uh, it comes with a vermiculite. Shake them onto the leaf surface and then they'll start uh, taking off. And if you want, you can kind of gently shake the vermiculite off and they'll remain on the leaf. When releasing Aureus, Look for the leaf with the thrip damage. You can see here, those speckles on the leaf are indicative of a thrip population chomping. Let's see if we can zoom in here. All right, so these little, these little guys, there you go. There you can see them climb on the leaf surface. And then you just go down the line and you release them every so often onto uh, new leaves. Very active. You're ready to kill. Another great use for predator insects are in nurseries. Nurseries are actually the ideal environment for the beneficial insects because typically they're more climate controlled, they're smaller, the relative humidities are higher, the temperature doesn't swing too much, and uh, the tight knit space among the canopy is a good place for all of these little bugs to crawl around. And so in this, in this particular case, there's a small thrip problem that came from the moms you saw in the other video. So we're gonna be releasing these insects on the clones. So these are considered seconds, trays that uh, of clones that have been damaged but are still rooted that need to be revived. And uh, typically the seconds sort of have the weaker immune systems and uh, sometimes are more susceptible. Thrips, let's see, uh, there's some thrip damage right there. So what we're gonna do is, just like in the other greenhouse, you can either kind of let them crawl onto the leaf, and kind of, some sometimes they'll crawl up on the leaf, but most of the time you just need to tap it out. And It's kind of weird putting vermiculite on your leaves, but there they go. And it doesn't take much for these guys. I believe one, one or two per tray is really all you need. So here you go, just down the line. And you know, you can spray with chemicals, you know, in nursery uh, settings, you know, there's a lot of good organic controls that you can use. There they go. They kind of jump to the edge of your finger, uh, crawl to the edge of your hand, and then uh, jump off your hand into the leaf canopy. This is a method if you don't want to, if you actually want to take extra time and uh, not get vermiculite on your clones. They fly, they can fly too, so that's kind of cool. Helps them stay mobile.